Well, all kids need playgrounds. Special needs children need special playgrounds. Yeah, and currently there are no such playgrounds for the 70 special needs students at Western Primary School in Rusheville. Working for you, RTV6's Derek Thomas reports plans are underway to change that. Eight-year-old Chloe Sabatis has cerebral palsy. She's pushing the wheelchair of eight-year-old Ira Evans, who has spina bifida. They are attempting to access the playground at Western Primary School. But as you can tell, the going is tough on the gravel surface. A campaign has been started to raise $120,000 for the special needs playground. Chloe loves to play on the equipment. I like swings. Uh -huh. What do you like about I could go high. You want to go high? Yeah, I like going high. We definitely need help to have for our children to be able to have a special needs playground so everybody can have the same chance to go out and play and have fun. On a normal school day, this is what recess looks like. It's inside in the gym with no fresh air. The configuration and construction of the special needs playground is important. We need an area on the ground um, that's cushiony in case they have falls. Um, the fence is very, very important. I just want our kids to have the same opportunity as the rest of our population in the school. Uh, there's nothing like fresh air and sunshine for our kids, and I just want them to be able to have the same thing. So far, $38,000 has been raised. Iris' father is fired up about the fundraising effort. I think it's a very worthy cause. It brings so many smiles to so many different kids. Um, it's just such a great thing that um, uh, Mrs. Harlow is doing as far as raising money for this playground. His son has this request for the community. Can you please donate to for the playground? And that would make you happy? Yeah. That would make all these kids happy. In Rusheville, Derek Thomas, RTV6. Now, the school district does not budget for a special needs playground. If you would like to donate to the effort, you'll find that information in this story on the IndyChannel.com and on the RTV6 app.